Hi, and welcome to this latest immigration law update video. Uh, in this video, I wanted to look at a news announcement from the Home Office yesterday. So yesterday was the 5th of May 2021. And the announcement was entitled Fast Track Immigration Route Opens for Prestigious Award Winners. Uh, and you'll see the subheading there, Streamlined Route to Work and Live in the UK Opens for Prize Winners from Across Science, Humanities, Engineering, the Arts and Digital Technology. What this in fact is, is an amendment to the global talent route. This was actually part of the immigration rules that were laid before Parliament on the 4th of March 2021, HC 1248. I'll put all the links below this video and we'll go through it in due course. So with the global talent route, Normally, an applicant has to apply first to the Home Office to get an endorsement from one of six endorsing bodies. And then if they get that endorsement, then they apply for the visa. For those who have now received prestigious awards uh, from the 5th of May, so it's now open, they can bypass the endorsing body stage and apply straight away for the visa. You'll see the eligible prizes, they're summarised too. But I think actually, in reality, this announcement, much fanfare was made about this announcement, but actually I think it'll affect very few people. And this is a bit of window dressing because you've got to have won, in science, technology, engineering and maths, you've got to either have won a Nobel Prize, a Queen Elizabeth Prize, a Fields Medal or a Turing Award, I mean, music, it's a Brit Award, a Grammy, a MOBO. In film, TV and theatre, we're talking Academy Award, Glo uh, Golden Globes, BAFTAs, Tonys, Olivier's, uh, and there's similar prizes for arts and literature. So actually, while a big fanfare is made of this, I think it'll affect a limited number of people. Interestingly, at the bottom, it said since it came into force in February 2020, that's when global talent risk replaced exceptional talent. Thousands of people have used the global talent route to enter the UK. Here is the explanatory memorandum to the statement of changes, which explains the changes that's going to be made to the global talent route. Remember, these these sort of two categories within global talent. You have those with exceptional talent and those with exceptional promise the sort of established leader and the emerging uh, leader and then it says that a change is being made to allow applicants who've reached the pinnacle of their careers to bypass the endorsement requirement and instead qualify if they have received a prestigious prize and again apart from that all the other aspects and requirements and conditions still apply to those uh, individuals. There are sort of two different periods which you can qualify for settlement. Some people and the higher categories can qualify for settlement after three years, others can qualify for settlement after five years. You can have a look at the rules for that. So a list has been published online uh, with links to the awarding bod bodies of the global talent eligible prize list. So we are, look, it starts with the Academy Awards, BAFTAs, Brit Awards, uh, Golden Globes uh, and then Nobel Prizes. So it's going to be, it's going to apply to a limited number of people. Here is the guide online to applying for a global talent visa. This says what's going to, what's needed. Uh, this explains uh, the fees. So it's 608 to apply, usually 456 when you apply for the endorsement and 152 when you apply for the visa itself. <laughs> but if you've got your eligible award, you still have to pay the full amount of the 608 and, of course, uh, the health uh, surcharge. It explains the documents uh, you're, you need to apply. It also explains about extending uh, your visa and dependence and qualifying uh, for settlement. So look at that guide on how to apply. Uh, and there you'll be usually be able to extend your visa uh, and that you, you'll have to show if you, you've earned money in the United Kingdom. You can apply to extend your visa for up to five years at a time. You can renew your visa as many times as you like. And if you wanna settle, you can either settle after three or five years depending on different categories. In terms of the rules, the immigration rule you need to look at 
is Appendix Global Talent. So as you know now, as the changes are being made to the immigration rules, these new appendices are being brought in. So you've got uh, Appendix Global Talent, uh, and there's the uh, introduction there, which explains about the two-part process, but also explains now about the prestigious prizes. And a new appendix has been added, Appendix Global Talent Prestigious prestigious prizes so that's the final tab I've got open for you which again lists all the prizes that currently qualify as a prestigious prize and will allow applicants to skip the endorsing uh, the endorsement stage so whilst this is a big announcement well you know we've got this fast track opening up for prestigious award winners how many people it'll actually impact uh, remains to be seen, given the sort of awards we're talking about. But I hope that helps you understand that announcement. Uh, thanks a lot.